So we're just gonna listen to the sounds outside to our barking dog out there and just relax and let it go. Just um, in one ear and out the other. And maybe send her love. Her name is Evie and she's a nervous um, Malinois shepherd. Misses her person that she's supposed to be watching. So sending her love and a feeling of safety. So I want you to just feel yourself laying here on the floor or on your pillows, whatever. Just feel yourself. You're on the floor and you are this energetic being. You are energy. Everything is energy. And feeling the energy in your body with your breath, the blood flowing, and feeling your energy um, that radiates out of you, your aura. Feel that little electrical pulse that goes on all around you in your personal space. And just feeling your energy vibrations coming up off of your chest and out of the top of your head and the bottoms of your feet and out of your hands and fingers and toes. Just feel that, you know, your energy is like waving in a big circle all the way around you. From the top of your head goes out and around like an apple and comes back in up through the bottom. And then it also goes the other way. It's like uh, two spheres of energy crisscrossing around you the whole time. And so your energy is radiating out and around, out and around. And the earth is grounding. It brings you to zero. It makes you neutral. And there's some extra work we're going to do on becoming neutral. But just feel the ground ground you. and come to zero. And since this is a healing meditation, um, healing could be your emotions, um, psychological, physical, spiritual, a lot of different levels of the human body and its experience that seems it needs to be healed. And we're going to understand that and we're gonna work on relaxing the body, work on becoming super neutral. There's a lot of levels as well as becoming neutral. We'll stay present Your mind, your thoughts, your brain waves may flow in and out of theta and delta, and you may slip into sleep, yet hear everything I say. And program your subconscious to heal yourself by hearing the vibrations of my voice in this room and that frequency of the sophigio vibrations coming out of the speakers. We'll practice on finding our midline, your kundalini staff up the middle of your back, understanding the soul level, and knowing that energy that goes up the chakra system and cleaning it, balancing it, grounding it, bringing it to zero, bringing it to neutral.
neutral where it's operating at the optimum vibration for your body on all its levels. We will connect to universal truth, knowing what is true. We'll practice some forgiveness, understand unconditional love, find clarity, and elevate our vibrations. If there's anything we want to attract in our life, we can set a heartfelt intention for this. And by the end, we'll have certainty and knowing because you will know what feels right. And you'll focus on the right. And raise your vibrations. Okay. Back to grounding. Feeling yourself on the ground. We're going to relax the body. Starting at the forehead. Where we feel our eye pillows across our eyelids, our eyebrows, and our foreheads. And we just notice the sensation of the eye pillow touching us. Relax into the sandbag. Feeling the skin relax. Feeling the myofascia tissue in between the skin and the muscles relax. Across your forehead, eyebrows, and eyelids. Feel the muscles relax. Feel the circulation flowing with no resistance. Relaxing the muscles around your eyes and inside your eyes. Notice the bridge of the nose. Relax the muscles of your jaws. Relax the root of your tongue. Relax your neck. Feel the skin on your neck. The muscles. Release any tension in your neck and shoulders. Notice your arms, how relaxed and heavy they feel. 
Notice the weight of the muscles of your arms and wonder how relaxed could I get my arm if I totally relaxed. Noticing your back touching the floor, the grounding feeling. Notice the muscles fan out across your shoulder blades, down your thoracic spine, across your lumbar. Relax, clear down at your root chakra, all the muscles around the glutes, the perineum, the sphincter, all those muscles. Relax your chest, your belly, Just notice the organs doing their job with no resistance. Everything is flowing as it should be. Send in some love and gratitude to your organs and your autonomic nervous system for doing its job. Relax your pelvis. There's a way that you could send a relaxing thought just to the bones of your pelvis and say, relax. If you notice one more ounce of relaxation in the pelvis and hips, Notice the weight of the muscles of your thighs. They're completely relaxed. Just hanging off of the bones of your legs. Notice the natural bend in your knee, in the back of the knee. Relaxing the calf muscles, just noticing their weight and wondering how relaxed could I get my legs. Relaxing your ankles and noticing the backs of your heels where they're touching, the grounding sensation. Relaxing your feet and toes. Notice the weight of the muscles in your feet. Completely relaxed. Imagining you could go in to these muscles, relax the muscles so much that you would even go down into the cellular level of the muscles and see even your cells are relaxed and clean and moving and doing exactly what they're supposed to do. on becoming neutral and to do this you may have to transmute any negative energy because you want to heal from a completely neutral and clear space 
You could not have any emotional baggage or things that need cleaned up. Your, your healing powers would be so much more powerful if you yourself are comfortable with every single thing in your life as it is in this moment. And so to help us to become that neutral, I feel it's important to start with forgiveness and understanding the situation as it is because it's supposed to be. And understanding that down the road. So if there's any part of your body that you want to work on, you can think about it now. Any part of your human being experience that you're having. Um, it could be that heartfelt intention that you want. And thinking of particular person or an instance in your life that needs forgiveness. Something that will help you to accept it as it is and be able to also love it unconditionally because it is part of our oneness web and if we're holding these grudges and holding negative energy towards someone or something, it brings down the vibration. And to just help us come to zero, come to neutral, we forgive these people with the understanding that they are here to be our teacher. For this instance, was here to teach me, to help my soul growth. Or that person and their beliefs and their programming is not yours. You don't have to believe. You don't have to fit in. You don't have to be programmed. You can change your program and you can just understand they were just part of this perfect plan in some karmic work that you are supposed to work through. And you can thank them for that because otherwise we would be um, stuck behind so when you get the understanding of the soul contract with this person and that they are here to be your teacher or this instance and this experience that you may perceive as different than what you think is perfect, you let go of perfect. You let go of right or wrong. Who says? You let go of victimhood. And you thank the teacher. And then you forgive yourself. And you let go of self-judgment. You give yourself unconditional love. That is love with no conditions and total acceptance for whatever it is that you want in your life. You embrace your uniqueness. You love the differences in everyone 
including yourself. You own it. You own this experience. This is your experience to come down and learn. You own it and you can say, I am. I am this. I am this person. I am this experience. I am learning. I am. And you're grateful. You send gratitude to the source that created all of this for you to experience. And now that you've let go of emotional baggage, you've let go of others affecting you, You've let go of some of your old beliefs. You've let go of programming by others. You let go of the tension and the resistance in your body. We'll call this neutral. You love yourself unconditionally. You love the past. It's not right. It's not wrong. It just is. You become the middle. Be zero. Notice your breathing. Notice the breath rising and falling naturally on its own. You're just showing it awareness. In awe of this breath. Noticing the sound of your breath, any sensations that you're feeling in your body, your energy body, your emotions, even if it's this feeling of, oh my gosh, I let go, I feel light. I want you to think about your midline. Right from the perineum, it goes right up your spine, up your neck, and out the top of your head. Just like a caduceus, the symbol of the doctor symbol, the physician symbol, with the staff, with two energy serpents going up the staff and the wings at the top, and the crown on the top of the staff. This is you. The symbol of the physician is inside of your body and you are your inner healer. The energy serpents show balance, intertwining a relationship that's working for you. The wings are freedom. The crown is wisdom. You 
Notice your breath. Come to zero. Come to neutral. Come to unconditional love and compassion for yourself, for any suffering. for any suffering in the world, knowing that we are all these healers and have this energy inside of us, but knowing that awareness of it and keeping it aligned and clean brings total health. Stay in this midline, the staff, and your breath. Connect with universal truth beyond this human form. Let's get big, let's expand. Connect to the unified field and raise the vibration by knowing universal truth. Trusting the universe. Trusting the flow Trusting time and space and knowing everything is strategically placed in your life. You may not understand it at a certain point in time, but when you look back, you'll understand. Each thing happened for a reason. So let's connect to that universal truth. You can imagine like the old fashioned kind of telephones that had the mouthpiece and the earpiece. Just imagine you only have the earpiece and you're just going to listen and you're going to feel what is right and what is wrong and you're going to practice truth practice coming from truth universal truth when something seems like it's wackadoodle negative imagine you can take some truth and love and find the truth with the love line them up transmute that negative energy and make it positive. Just make it as it is. Accepting it with no conditions. Expecting nothing from it. Just letting go of the perception. How we like to label things. So let's come back to neutral back to zero and find that midline right at the bottom of your perineum going straight up inside it's just an energy current it's like a rod it's like a cord has these beautiful gems placed on it in perfect placement a little 
energy sources. We line them all up consciously, the root, the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart, the throat, the third eye, and the crown. And imagine they're on this cord of energy and it is straight. And the jewels are straight, little round wheels spinning in the perfect direction, shining brightly, no cloudiness in these gems. They're just perfectly pure and pure light shines through them from the inside out. They glow. And find your breath going up and down this cord. The life inside this prana tube the rightness, the balance, the neutrality. And if there are any physical sensations that you are working on, a sore body part, we'll just take a shoulder for example. Think of that body part and then think of your midline. Think of the Kundalini energy. It's neutral, it's balanced, it's zero, it's on no pain level, it's just balanced. So thinking of whichever possible issue in the physical sensation and think of the midline. and relax and send unconditional love. Nothing right, nothing wrong, everything is clear, balanced, zero. Nothing, no one, nowhere, no time. Just a perfect being. Thinking of this kundalini energy, this midline, basically your soul. And it is perfect right now. We've relaxed it. We've cleared it of karmic stuff. We've cleared it of perceptions. We've cleared it of unloving. And we've loved it. And we've healed it. And we've straightened it. And we've shined it up. And it is your inner healer, and it is healing you, and it is at the mid-level. Everything else is connected to it. The organs, the fluids, the blood, the tissues, the muscles, the joints, the bones, the emotions. The energetic level, your meridians. So much going on in this compressed form of energy that you are. See it flowing. See everything flowing in perfect harmony for the greater good. Not just you, for everybody. And everybody's flowing like this, and you're the example of high vibration. You are raising the collective consciousness. And you vibrate like this all the time. You catch yourself vibrating a little lower. Come to the breath. Become neutral and unconditional love. Let go of beliefs, programs, perceptions, and find 
universal truth. Releasing anything that's trapped in the tissues, releasing any issues, sending self-love Find clarity. See everything running smoothly on all levels. All systems are go. You are a finely tuned energetic being. Come from truth. Sat Nam, come from love, come from creation itself. How could that be wrong? Accept yourself, accept things that you've had trouble accepting before because it just is. You are you, they are them. You do you. Embrace you. Love you. Experience you. Heal you. You are complete. No resistance. Now letting go of anything that we were thinking needed healed, it's done. And now focus on what feels right. What feels right to you? What brings you joy? What do you when you say, oh, I love it when this happens, what is it? What's that thing you love? I love when this lines up like this. I love when it seems like the universe is going my way, even though it always is. It just is a little more easier for you to grasp because all things seem positive. Seeing synchronicities, proving you're right. You're on the right path. Things are lining up. Feeling your vibrations elevating because you are clear and you are neutral. You are the duck's back and water runs off it. Near the duck's bottom and you flow with the water. Gliding. Attract what you want with certainty. Command it. Command health in all spheres of your life, physically, emotionally, spiritually, psychologically, all spheres, abundance, 
any other thing that needs balanced in your life. Feeling this level, this high vibration of being in tune, being in love, practicing love and universal truth and lining up with it. Notice your breathing. Notice the ground supporting you. Notice you are here in this moment right now, taking care of you at this very unique level of the subconscious. Notice neutrality. Notice acceptance. Notice your breath, always coming back to the breath. back, awaking with awareness of this big work, coming back to your body, bring that awareness back into your feet, they are relaxed, and wonder where your feet will take you at the right time in universal truth. Just line up with it. Your feet will only go in the right direction. Wonder where your legs will follow your feet to, and your hips, and your belly, and your chest, and your back, and your arms, and your shoulders, and your neck, and your head. Here you are, a being. Lined up neutral and ready for experience. Loving this moment. Bring your awareness to your hands. and your fingers and begin to wiggle your fingers. Notice how slowly you're coming out of this, gently. Wiggling your fingers and toes. Noticing your breath. Maybe a more refreshed breath, one with 
some purpose of awakening. And maybe make a fist with your hands and squeeze and let go and feel the awakeness in your hand when you let go. Feel the blood coming, circulating, drilling your toes and spreading them up, awakening. Maybe stretch through your arms and legs. Just a little stretch. And getting ready to roll on your right side into your fetal position and push snooze on your alarm and just go back into that last little bit of oh I love this last little little rest and you can set your day you can decide the rest of your day is going to go this amazing way of balance and truth and love. And just being happy to rise up and coming into your easy pose. And notice the tailbone touching the earth. Don't have to hurry. Just enjoy it. Feel that tailbone go down. And notice the spine coming up from the tailbone. Just notice that staff we were talking about. You are it. You are your inner healer. You are your own physician. Having your energies lined up, being neutral, and erasing all beliefs. Notice how good you feel. And bring our hands, our fingers touching together and our thumbs touching together and saving a space on the inside of our hands for that heartfelt intention. And tipping your forehead and honoring it and honoring each other for sharing this space and know that the light in me honors the light in you in this space that we share together. Namaste.